Goldie here. That's more like it, huh? Got me a little uh, barrier wall here. Little hidey hole. I can see the playground. Just doing my slab squat right here on a rock. I'm cheating. I got to sit on a rock because I'm tebby. Watching the playground. Nobody sees me, but if they do, it's like, you know. Da 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 da. <laughs> Told my kid I'm being up here so he won't panic and run to his sisters and have them call their mom. They roll over on me all the time, every day. It's pretty sad, really. I get I get set up by my kids. I know they don't mean to. They just been trained to do that. Anyway, uh, my last video was really short. Felt uncomfortable walking around the playground with a big selfie stick, and I couldn't smoke. Really been hankering for a good cigar. And now I got one. I still have a nice little reserve of them left. I had eight or ten of them left. I gotta get rid of them before they go bad. It's hard to keep them here. Summertime hits, there's no humidity. I got this vacuum jar that I put them in with, uh, with this little, uh, supposed to humidify them, a little packet. They don't work too good. I soak some paper towels and put in there with it, and sometimes it's a little better, but they're already starting to get kind of damaged. Got to get rid of them before they're unsmokable. Sheer smoking pleasure. Candelas. I'd like to get some Candela seed tobacco. It'd grow here. The only problem would be the humidity. To, uh, to dry them out, you'd have to have a real controlled environment. That'd be a good business for somebody. You'd have to have a humidity controlled tobacco barn. That wouldn't be hard to do, though. Any kind of any kind of good seed tobacco from Nicaragua or uh, Dominican Republic or Kentucky. These come from Kentucky. This is Candela from Kentucky. I like Candela. It's not real popular. It's kind of hard to find anymore. But uh, it's the green stuff to make the green cigars. Mayor in my hometown used to smoke big, huge Candelas. I mean gigantic ones like circus cigars. <laughs> I tried one of those once. It's pretty nice. You're smoking for like an hour and 40 minutes. And by the time you get down to the bottom, it's pretty stout. The the, the end that you put in your mouth, it filters all the it filters a lot of the nicotine and stuff out. And then when it the the, the flame gets down close to that, it starts burning it. <laughs> So what's new? I think things are going pretty good. Good news is hard to come by, but the good thing about it is the good news is true. And all the crazy stuff you hear is lies. They think they got good news. Russia's really sorry they tried to do anything now. They're all bogged down. Oh, they didn't plan it very good. They're all running out of fuel and, and their soldiers are defecting because they were forced into it. Russia doesn't have a slave army, the U.S. does. You're fighting for oligarchs, for their benefit, not, and, and against your own benefit. Russia's fighting for their own protection, because of what NATO have done, what all the corruptocrats all over the world have been doing. Their little playground in Ukraine, boy, there's a lot of stuff coming out there. The Biden crime family shenanigans, they were they were tied in with the biolabs. <laughs> I put a, what, 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 where did I see that? Oh, I, I, I got in my feeds uh, something recommended for me. These, uh, these bozos call themselves the, uh, who was it, the Bismarck, Bismarck Forum or something like that. What kind of a name is that? Why are they using, why are they, they're, they're talking about Otto von Bismarck and they got a picture of his head with his little spiky pointy helmet on it. 
and uh, I had no idea what it is. I opened it up, wanted me to join right off the bat before you even see what it is. Well, that's smart, but uh, I shut that little window down and uh, it let, let me go in to sample it. <clears throat> and there's all kinds of articles about uh, you know, the, the fake news of the bioweapons labs and you know, how to fight the fake media and fake news about you know, uh, Ukrainian atrocities and Nazis. And it's pretty hardcore, man. These idiots don't even believe in Nazis or biolabs, and they've already been admitted to many times by your own people. What, what kind of people would go to a site like that and, and think it's, it's, it's uh, relevant? Why even waste your time? Why they name themselves Bismarck? That is real interesting. I know Kaiser Wilhelm said on a number of occasions that you have to control the Ukraine in order to take down Russia. He said this over a hundred years ago. I don't know if Bismarck was really in on that or not. Bismarck put Wilhelm in, in power and helped consolidate the German nation. I'll have to look that up. They should have named it the Kaiser Wilhelm Forum or whatever it is. But it's interesting, there's so many people still flogging away on these fantasies. Especially these, uh, you know, military fetish sites. Uh, some of them are ex-military guys. I think a lot of them are just LARPing. Want to look at all the latest equipment? Boy, the Russians will sure get it when we show them we got these. You guys are idiots. You don't even know what you're talking about. The screw is already turned it turned several years ago the u.s is behind way behind they can't do anything they're getting pushed out of the middle east as well they should i'm surprised there's still some guys in syria guarding the uh oil wells so the u.s uh, and turkey can steal all the syrian people's oil uh, they'll they'll be made to leave pretty soon that'll be next Syrian army might be able to do it. Russia, Iran, Hezbollah. You think Hezbollah is a terrorist organization? It's a political organization that had to arm itself to survive and to try to protect Lebanon from, uh, you know, penguins who were destroying their political organizations who got their guys in charge to give away the store. And uh, the penguins got their asses handed to them last time they went in to try to kick, kick in, kick in the door of Lebanon. Hezbollah is effective. And Hezbollah's, Hezbollah's got enough missiles to take every every single base out if they want to. They can do it. They're so terrible. How come they haven't already? Same thing with Iran. They could do it anytime they want. It's pretty bad when you get by on mercy, but you're a punk and you're still, you know, swinging at everybody and spitting at them and accusing them of aggression. You, that's the position the U.S. is in right now. You might not believe it, but it is. Back when the dirtbags assassinated Soleimani, that's about the time things started to be demonstrated. And when Russia went into Syria, that time period there, what was that? It was at least three or four years ago. That's when the screw turned. That's when there were some demonstrations where certain people were shown, there's nothing you can do. You need to quit pushing people around. You need to start toning it down. You don't belong here. This isn't yours. And yet all these idiots are doubling down. They're thinking they can still fight. It's like the knight <laughs> in the Monty Python, the one that cut his arms and his leg, one of his legs off and he's hopping around. It's only a flesh wound. Come on, fight. Now that's the position they're in. Until the economy finishes collapsing, and it will. It's coming down hard. I just hope I can get a significant amount of donations and uh, turn it into gold or rubles real fast before it evaporates. <clears throat> yeah, if it does, I don't know what nothing I can do. I tried. Day late and a dollar short.
Yes, that's my fault. I should have started on this stuff a long time ago. But you never know what's going to happen. You always think you got time. Let's take a look around here. Put my little periscope up. Nice day. I'm kind of kind of chill and kind of relaxed. I don't know why. This video, my videos, I noticed the tone has changed in a lot of them. Really need to focus on the geopolitical George stuff. I got something. I think I'm going to uh, try to be structured. Hope you can understand what this cigar went well. I'm gonna go through this. This is a this is a fantastic piece of material. Oh, I'll hold it there longer. You can screenshot. Come on. But uh, I just want to read some of this. I gotta I gotta do something with the cigar, don't I? Is this stuff? Oh, I haven't got my glasses. I'll try. This is a rundown of uh, something that scares the hell out of Americans and that's so calluminated and has so many trigger words and stuff in it. I gotta try to prepare people to be able to look at something like this and analyze it and see the good in it and see what they can learn from it. Because uh, especially neocon type Americans and evangelicals and normal conservatives, uh, they freak out over uh, the political nomenclature. The fact that it's uh, a Russian thing. You have to train your mind. Yeah, you're going to have to learn how to think uh, a little more objectively, and deprogram yourself from some of your old, you know, movies and shows where Russians are evil and, and, and everything's a Soviet communist trying to take over the world. Yeah. I'm going to go through this on Geopolitical George. I am. Basically, I'm just going to put up my own words right now because I can't read it because I haven't got my glasses on. I could put them on, but it's a little complicated, you know, hold a book, hold a phone, smoking, trying to hide from Karen's, watching my kid. Yeah, okay, I'll do it later. <clears throat> but Eurasianism this, uh, developed when uh, Russian patriots saw Russia being, uh, oh, pero, here comes a dog. Oh, I'm sorry, Sabaka. I don't know why, I always call dogs. Spanish instead of uh, Russian or English. Sabaka! Kegdila! Is that a show? I'll show you. That's a pretty dog. He might come over here to investigate. Oh, he left already. I didn't know you got to see him or not. Big old black dog. Because all the different cultures in the world, they get their own place. The geography, the topography, the climate, the area they're at has an effect on their culture, help develop it. Even nomads and people have moved around a lot. So they should have their own space to develop in their own way, according to their own logic. As Jeff Savicoli said, to do their own thing in their own time, man. That's a good thing. I'm all for that. That's what Eurasianism is all about. A multipolar world. You have to have spheres of influence. You can't have people just at war all the time. There are ugly, nasty, crappy cultures that bomb other cultures and take over and lie about stuff and act like they're victims while they're doing it so they can steal resources. I could name a few. Two mainly have been consistent and successful about it in the last uh, few centuries. Oh, 
and just because they're not like you and they don't have the same religious uh, outlook and they don't have the same economic system and educational system, they don't regard women the same way you do, they have their own way of regarding them and it doesn't mean it's bad or wrong. You don't have any right to change them. It's none of your freaking business. They're on their land, leave them alone. That's the crux, that's, that's the essence of your Asianism. And I'm all for it. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Now, if you Google it <laughs> or, or look in Wikipedia, you're going to find all kinds of crazy stuff. They'll, they'll say it was devised by Dugan and Putin and, and they want to take over the world and bring back the Soviet Union because they're atheists and they're Satanists and they're Orthodox Christians. You know, it's all this crazy, contradictory, stupid garbage. They just keep all kinds of disinformation and boogeyman words in their description of it. I don't see any of that at all. I've studied this for a long time. This is an old book. This is uh, around 2005 or so. It really started to develop in the 90s. And it's big. It's, it's worldwide. It's a force for good in the world. Ukrainian Nazis seem to be pretty worldwide too. Not worldwide, but they're really, really thick. Canada and the U.S. are lousy with them. And a lot of European countries, especially Canada. Canadians are going to stand up to them? What are the Canadians going to do? Oh, I'm sorry, but I just don't like Nazis being in my backyard, okay? I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. Going to have to deal with them sometime. They're getting uh, floor mopped with them in Ukraine, contrary to what your media is telling you. And when that's over, what are they going to do next? They got the business end of it, the command structure, the money, the political organizations all over Canada and the U.S. I even uncovered it a little bit back uh, when Trump ran against Hillary. They were pulling some shenanigans for Hillary. I have to look that up. I don't remember exactly what it was. They were there. They had a powerful organization doing so far. It's in my distant archives. I have to go back to 2016 or 2015 and find it. Some other people know about it too. I've heard a few mentions of it. <laughs> so I'm not the only one that saw it. What are they going to do? They're going to do something over there. You bet your lifesavers. They're under the same cover financially and organizationally with outfits like Antifa that are supposed to be anti-fascist. There, it is a joke. They call you Nazis. But they're working with them. When you look in the history and you see what the Banderites did in Poland and uh, Western Ukraine at the end of World War II, when it was obvious the Nazis were losing. Scorched earth, kill as many people as possible. That's what they did. Women, children, babies, torture them to death. They did that, they did that stuff. There's pictures. I'll, I'll, I'll dig up one of the uh, sites that has that stuff and post it. Yeah, hey, they keep trying to scrub it. But they posted those same pictures on their websites, the uh, Slavada, uh, what did they call it back then? I think they call themselves Slavada now. But I looked into this back in like 2006 or seven, and I went to their websites and they showed that stuff and they were proud of it. This is what my granddad did, because he's dedicated to the state. The state, Uber Alles. Yeah, there's people like that. The US has been funding them for a long time and giving them command structure and they got all their networks in the US and Canada. That's probably going to be the next big phase. It'll come. Better be ready for it. I'd be surprised how many people are closet Nazis. I've known a few people. I knew a guy who was a real sweetie pie. He was always trying to turn me on to Stormfront. He was a LARPer. He couldn't hurt a fly. But he admired all that stuff for some reason. He did tell me stuff that was uh, pretty true, though, and I didn't believe him. 
I found out later he was right. Not not about Nazi doctrine, but uh, one of their chief enemies in uh, the Bolshevik Revolution. I didn't believe him, but uh, I found out later. Well, it's true. Putin even said it. About 85% of the uh, Bolshevik commissars being penguins. Ah, it's true. They weren't Russians. A lot of them didn't even speak Russian. They spoke uh, English and Penguinese, the ones that came back over from London and New York after the revolution. Set up execution factories. They hate Orthodox people. They really hate Russians. But then now, because they're such shapeshifters, yeah, everybody thinks, well, those Russians, they're crazy. They had a revolution where they killed their own people. No, somebody else did that. And it's a fact. It's unequivocal fact. Well, nobody challenged Putin when he said it. <clears throat> Everybody here knows it's true. Well, I got one donation site. That's good. I got the other set to go. I just got to work out some bugs. I'm going to concentrate tomorrow on getting on Patreon. <laughs> I better do that quick, huh? I just keep running my mouth. Then you can't do that anymore. No, that's not allowed. Got to protect our freedom, by golly. Well, just been long enough. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the day. Tonight I'll get back on that computer and do something. I work seven days a week on this stuff. When I can, I get to work a lot on it. Anyway, the links are there. Please share, spread it around. What do you want to do? Whatever you can do. And God bless. Uncle Bildy is signing out.